Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand user creating user interface using switch and do while statement. So, uh, using switch and do while statement, we can provide a, a user interface. So, what is user interface? Whenever we are uh, we are writing a program, the end user who is using the program should know what's happening in this program we have to provide an interface to the user so that he can easily understand what he has to do so the step-by-step -step process of what he has to do in the program has to be provided to the end user so that is what we call it as a user interface so for better uh, uh, understanding or to give the better user interface uh, do while uh, do while loop and the switch statements are used in combination uh, for better uh, user interface so this is the program this is the program where uh, we have taken three variables x y z x y i so what this program is doing is this program in this program the user can provide two numbers x and y and the values x and y uh, we, uh, we the program is going to ask the end user whether to add whether to subtract or to multiply or to divide so based upon the option that is given by the user so the particular the particular calculations is done so x and y will get added or subtracted or multiplied or divided if none of the options are to be provided and user wants to quit the program he has to provide uh, some options okay for addition one option uh, subtraction one option multiplication one option and division one option so all these options and uh, uh, are arranged in a sequence so that the end user is going to know what's happening in the program so it is just like a simple calculator okay here int x comma y comma i is provided and here the do like uh, do uh, do while loop has been started here the do is provided print so here these statements understand these statements these statements are very important this is the interface for the entire program so one first option press 1 to add x x comma y second option press 2 to subtract third option press 3 so what we have to do we, what we are trying to do here is we are uh, making the user to understand that in order to add x and y you have to press 1 1 in the keyboard so this is what we call it as an interface right the user is uh, uh, is freely uh, he can uh, he can freely use the software okay so uh, fourth option divide if you uh, press zero to exit if you want to close the program just press zero okay and here the scanning uh, is done and it will get stored so the option that is provided it may be one it may be two three four or zero that option will get stored in i now switch zero so the uh, based upon the option if it is one case one will get executed if it is two case two will get executed so what is provided in these cases so that is also very important to understand here if it is zero we have to exit okay uh, now for example if the user has given one what happens we, we will come into this case one and here these lines will get executed so what are these lines enter the values of x and y here the user has to provide the values of x and y and the values that are given they will get added and the break statement will get executed which means we are going to come out of the switch statement so what's happening now here after coming out of the switch statement this while loop will get executed if the value of i is not equal to zero so this is a continuous program so until the user want to exit until the user want to exit this loop will iterate he can do multiple calculations once he started the program if you want to exit if you want to exit he will give the case zero as the options provided above if you want to exit he will provide the case zero for four multiple uh, division is done for three multiplication is done for case zero if the user has provided input as zero means we have to exit the program so before exiting we are giving a message thank you visit again okay and break and after that if the value of i is not equal to zero is now the value of i is equal to zero 
okay so in the top we have provided the options there the scan value will get stored in i so here the value of i is equal to 0 so this is going to be false if it is not equal to 0 if it is not equal to 0 then this loop will iterate means the options 1 2 3 4 and if you give uh, a wrong option like 6 7 8 something so it will go to the default option so there wrong option will get printed wrong option will get printed and again it will ask for the next option again it will ask for the next option that is very important to understand that's why we have taken do well so we want the program to continuously run until the user want to exit the program so this is a continuous process so we'll try to execute this program and see how the continuous process will be okay so let's try to execute the program and see how the outputs are going to be here is our program okay so these are the, this is the same program options options provided here and uh, cases the possible cases the same program has been taken let's compile this and execute this see here press one uh, to add so what what we would like to do is first we'll start with one okay one option one has been provided enter the values of x and y now i want to x3 comma provide the value of x as 3 and y as 6 see here x plus y is equal to 9 again the option is asked it is because of while loop because the value of i is not equal to 0 is not equal to 0 uh, for example i want to provide a multiplication option 3 i want to multiply again so i have to give 6 comma 8 okay has been provided now i want to give a wrong option so just check what the wrong option i have given the option as 9 which is not there okay see here a wrong option has been printed so i i forgot uh, the new line option that's why the uh, uh, the things got uh, uh, combined okay so now i want to exit the program so to exit i have to give zero see here thank you visit again and the program has been exited so this is how the beautiful uh, user interfaces can be provided to the end user by using switch statement and do while loops hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below <coughs> And if you feel that this video is helpful to you, please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited. Thanks for watching.